What if skipping a meal could switch on your body's most powerful repair system? This is the science behind fasting and autophagy, where healing begins at the cellular level. Inside every cell in your body is a survival system that determines whether it repairs itself or falls into dysfunction. It is the cell's way of cleaning house, removing broken components and rebuilding from within. It breaks down damaged mitochondria, misfolded proteins and oxidized molecules. Then it recycles the raw materials for energy and restoration. This process happens silently, but its effects shape everything from energy levels to cancer risk. Autophagy is not always running at full power. It stays quiet when cells are flooded with nutrients and growth signals. But when resources decline, autophagy becomes essential. Fasting is one of the most powerful activators of autophagy. As glucose drops and insulin declines, the cell enters a state of energy stress. This activates AMPK, a master sensor of low fuel. At the same time, mTOR, a major growth-promoting signal, is turned off. These shifts are not passive reactions. They are instructions. With mTOR suppressed and AMPK active, the autophagic process begins. ULK1 is triggered, autophagy-related genes are recruited, and autophagosomes form. These double-membrane structures isolate damaged material. They travel through the cytoplasm and fuse with lysosomes. Inside, acidic enzymes break down the contents into reusable components. What was once harmful becomes fuel for regeneration. This process is not for energy conservation. It is a system of cellular triage, identifying what is essential and what must go. Selective autophagy ensures that only dysfunctional parts are removed. Proteins like P62 help tag damaged cargo for elimination. Healthy structures are left intact. Precision matters. The MDPI study explains how autophagy supports genomic stability by preventing the accumulation of oxidized molecules and mitochondrial defects. Damaged mitochondria are removed through mitophagy. This lowers the production of reactive oxygen species and protects DNA. In organs with high cell turnover, such as the liver and intestines, this is critical. Cells divide often in these environments, increasing the risk of mutation. Autophagy acts as a filter, removing coming defects before they can replicate. When autophagy is suppressed, these protections disappear. Dysfunction builds, oxidative stress rises, and early signs of transformation are no longer cleared away. The Curious study connects these cellular processes to real-world outcomes. It shows how fasting-induced autophagy affects entire systems, not just individual cells. Hormonal patterns change. Insulin and IGF-1 fall. Adiponectine increases. Growth slows while repair accelerates. These conditions do not favor cancer. They stress abnormal cells and make healthy cells more resilient. The metabolic environment begins to shift. Immune cells respond too. T cells and natural killer cells work better in clean, low inflammatory environments. Autophagy reduces metabolic clutter inside these immune cells, making them more responsive. This improves the body's ability to recognize and destroy early cancer cells. It also reduces unnecessary inflammation, less noise, more precision. Autophagy is not an optional system. It is fundamental to long-term survival, and fasting is its most reliable activator. The studies show that when we stop eating for long enough to trigger metabolic stress, we engage deep biological systems that were designed for resilience. This is not damage control. This is intelligent repair. Fasting flips the switch. Autophagy carries out the work. And our biology resets from the inside out. Autophagy does more than prevent damage. 
It actively removes early stage threats, including precancerous cells and dysfunctional structures. This isn't just a theory. It's a verified mechanism detailed across both studies. Inside the body, cells are constantly exposed to oxidative stress, mutations, and metabolic byproducts. Normally, these issues are resolved by tightly regulated repair processes. But when damage accumulates faster than it can be repaired, cells begin to malfunction. Some of these cells are not yet cancerous. They have not formed tumors or spread, but they are no longer normal. They may have DNA mutations, mitochondrial defects, or uncontrolled growth signals. These are the cells autophagy is designed to target. They are tagged, isolated, and dismantled from the inside. This is not passive housekeeping. It is active defense. It is how the body stops cancer before it begins. The MDPI study emphasizes that autophagy plays a central role in protecting cells from neoplastic transformation. By clearing defective organelles and proteins, it stabilizes the genome and reduces inflammatory signaling. These actions directly lower the risk of mutation propagation. Autophagy also regulates the cell cycle. It can pause division to allow for repair. If the damage is too great, it pushes the cell toward programmed death. This function, known as autophagy-dependent cell death, serves as a last line of protection. Rather than allow a faulty cell to survive and multiply, autophagy initiates self-destruction. It is a biological failsafe. The immune system is also involved. Autophagy enhances antigen presentation, improving how immune cells recognize abnormal structures. It helps shape the adaptive immune response. The Curious study highlights how fasting strengthens this loop. Reduced glucose and insulin levels create a hostile environment for unstable cells. Healthy cells adapt. Precancerous cells become vulnerable. Fasting does not just cut off nutrients. It restructures the body's entire signaling system. Growth signals are withdrawn. Repair pathways are promoted. These systemic effects extend to immune surveillance. The study explains how T cells and NK cells improve their function in fasting states. Their energy metabolism becomes more efficient. They generate less internal waste, and they become better at identifying and eliminating threats. This is vital in early stage cancer prevention. Many abnormal cells are cleared before they become clinically relevant, not through direct targeting, but through restored biological order. Fasting creates a window of enhanced sensitivity. It improves the contrast between normal and abnormal cells. Autophagy operates more freely in this window. Damaged components are cleared more rapidly. Cells that cannot maintain integrity are removed. The body becomes more selective and more efficient. This protective state is not achieved through medication. It is triggered through the absence of food, a temporary metabolic stress that activates ancient survival systems. It is not just about calories or weight loss. It is about information. Every fast sends a message. The message is repair. Autophagy answers that message. It begins sorting through every cell, organelle and protein. It decides what stays and what must go. The studies confirm that this process is not theoretical or niche. It is fundamental. It operates in the background of every tissue. And when activated, it becomes one of the most powerful anti-cancer systems known to biology, not by destroying tumors, but by preventing them from forming in the first place. Fasting doesn't just reduce the fuel. It turns on the fire crew. When cancer has already developed, the role of autophagy becomes more complex. It can protect healthy cells while making cancer cells more vulnerable to treatment. This dual effect is what makes fasting such a powerful therapeutic window. The Curious study outlines how fasting modifies the metabolic environment of the body. Growth-promoting hormones like insulin 
and IGF-1 are suppressed. The body, yes, the body enters a low glucose, low anabolic state. Cancer cells rely heavily on glucose and continuous growth signals. They are metabolically inflexible. They do not adapt well to fasting. Healthy cells respond differently. They activate autophagy. They switch to alternative fuel sources. They slow their growth and enhance their defenses. This contrast is the foundation of differential stress resistance. It protects normal cells from the toxic effects of chemotherapy and radiation. At the same time, it makes cancer cells more sensitive. The MDPI study describes how autophagy enables cells to stabilize internal damage during fasting. It prevents oxidative stress, reduces mitochondrial dysfunction, and improves protein turnover. This improves survival during external stress. Cancer cells lack this flexibility. They accumulate further damage when deprived of nutrients. They cannot rely on autophagy effectively. Their survival strategies begin to fail. Fasting essentially widens the therapeutic window. It makes treatment less harmful to the patient and more harmful to the tumor. This is not speculation. Animal models and early human trials confirm these effects. One study referenced in the Curious article showed that short-term fasting protected mice from chemotherapy side effects while increasing tumor reduction. The protection was not partial, it was dramatic. Healthy cells endured higher doses. Cancer cells collapsed. This opens new possibilities. Fasting does not replace chemotherapy or radiation, but it can reshape the response. It transforms treatment from blunt force to selective pressure. Autophagy is part of this transformation. It helps normal cells manage the oxidative damage and inflammation triggered by cancer therapy. It enhances the cleanup and recovery process. At the same time, the metabolic stress created by fasting reveals weaknesses in the cancer's armor. Lack of glucose, suppressed IGF-1, and mitochondrial strain expose defects. The tumor becomes less able to resist treatment. Immune modulation is another factor. Fasting reduces chronic inflammation. It clears the cellular environment, making immune detection more precise. Natural killer cells become more active. Cytotoxic T cells respond more aggressively. Autophagy supports these immune cells by improving their mitochondrial health and removing internal waste. A cleaner immune cell is a sharper immune cell. It sees better, it acts faster. Together, fasting and autophagy restructure the entire battlefield. They change how both the body and the cancer respond to stress. And they do so through ancient, deeply conserved mechanisms. The goal is not to starve the body. The goal is to create a pause, a space in which repair systems take control, where damaged cells are dismantled and resilient cells are reinforced. The studies emphasize that this is not a miracle cure. It must be done carefully and always under medical supervision. Not all patients are suitable for fasting interventions, but for those who are, the benefits can be profound. Less toxicity, more immune clarity greater tumor sensitivity. Fasting doesn't fight cancer directly. It strengthens the body's ability to do so. And autophagy is aimless is the tool that makes that possible. The human body is not built for constant abundance. It evolved under cycles of feast and famine where survival depended on adaptability. Autophagy is the core of that adaptability. When nutrients are low, cells switch from growth to repair. This is not just a reduction in energy use. It's a transition into a highly coordinated cleanup mode. The MDPI study detail, details how this switch is regulated by molecular sensors. AMPK rises, mTOR shuts down, ULK1 activates, autophagosomes begin forming. These structures selectively capture damaged proteins, broken mitochondria, and oxidized lipids. They are not destroyed randomly. 
The cell evaluates what is salvageable and what must be dismantled. This process resets the cell's internal environment. It reduces inflammation, stabilizes genetic material, and improves metabolic efficiency. In tissues with high turnover, it prevents mutation and accumulation. Autophagy is particularly active in organs like the liver, intestines, and pancreas. These areas face high oxidative stress and exposure to dietary byproducts. Without autophagy, damage builds rapidly. The Curious study extends these cellular insights into real-world clinical settings. It shows how fasting can be applied not just as prevention, but as support for treatment. By temporarily withdrawing food, the body enters a metabolic state that favors defense. This state is marked by reduced glucose, lower insulin, and a shift in hormonal balance. Adiponectine increases. Inflammatory cytokines drop. Immune surveillance sharpens. Cancer cells, already metabolically unstable, are weakened in this environment. Healthy cells, supported by autophagy, become more resilient. The studies agree that this dual effect is the central value of fasting. It does not kill tumors directly, but it creates the conditions where biology can. This is especially important in early stage intervention. When a cell first becomes abnormal, autophagy is its natural barrier. It can isolate the threat, dismantle it, or trigger cell death. Without autophagy, these cells persist. They mutate further. They become less responsive to immune detection. Fasting restores that early intervention system. It lowers the noise in the cellular environment. It highlights dysfunction, and it gives the body time and resources to respond. The timing of fasting matters. Short-term fasting is often sufficient to trigger autophagy. Longer fasts may enhance deeper repair, but also carry greater risks. Medical supervision is essential. Neither study promotes unsupervised fasting, especially in patients with chronic illness, malnutrition, or advanced cancer. The benefits are real, but they must be applied with care. What they do show, without ambiguity, is that autophagy is one of the body's most critical defenses, and fasting is the most reliable way to trigger it. This is not just about weight loss. It's about metabolic recalibration, a way to step back from constant consumption and allow the body to reset. It's about clearing precancerous cells before they become dangerous, about helping the immune system find threats early, and about giving healthy cells a head start in times of stress. These studies represent a shift in how we think about disease prevention. They show that fasting is not deprivation. It is strategic withdrawal, a signal to the bay to clean house and prepare for the future. Autophagy is not something we activate artificially. It's already inside us. Fasting simply clears the path. And when that happens, the body does what it was always designed to do. Prepare, protect, survive, your body already holds the blueprint for healing. You just have to give it the signal. Fasting isn't a trend. Autophagy is, isn't a buzzword. Together, they're nature's built-in reset button. So pause the noise, let your cells breathe, and let your body remember how to protect you. Stay curious, stay resilient, and let science lead the way.